Aircraft carriers represent the power of the naval force of the country. They are big floating airports on the sea. But what if the aircraft carrier becomes an aircraft itself? Yes, you heard me right. This video will help you explore the multi-billion dollar US aircraft with the most powerful engines in the world. Don't forget to show us some love by smashing that like button and subscribing if you haven't already. If you are as curious as me, let us dive in, guys. With more powerful wings and engines, the aircraft carriers are now ready to take off into the skies. They can become a new class of massive bombers or the largest cargo carriers in history. We all have seen flying ships in many movies, but this is the time to bring that into reality. The launching of this multi-billion dollar US aircraft will make the US Navy a powerful naval force. This was not the first attempt to create a flying aircraft carrier. The naval force started planning about this a long way back during the time of world wars. But there were no proper technologies to build an aircraft like that. But now it is possible because of the advanced technologies. The US had two airships carriers that were able to fly, but they were not built for harsh climates. They later fatally crashed. Who knows that 25% of the world's aircraft carriers belong to the US? They have a dominant power in the naval force. They have the most powerful aircraft than any other country in the world. This can be proven by many factors. The greatest and most powerful USS Gerald Ford is powered by two Bechdel A1B nuclear reactors. The carrier only needs to be refueled once. The operational life of the USS Gerald Ford is 50 years. The fact that it only needs to be refueled once in this operational life is mind-blowing. This means that the USS Gerald Ford could run for straight 25 years without refueling. The speed of this carrier is 30 knots. This carrier also has new processors and operating systems. The carrier has everything such as new sensors, processors, and weapons. This makes it even more powerful. Unlike virtually every other aircraft in the world, the USS Gerald Ford features a single system for both horizon and volume search in the form of ANSPY-3 multifunction radar for X and S band inactive electronically scanned array. This is the most advanced radar system. This helps the carrier to overcome technical difficulties and helps to control air traffic, missile communications, and spot targets from miles away. The USS Gerald Ford is home to 75 fighter jets and unmanned aerial vehicles. This carrier is home to the famous and powerful 5th generation F-35C Lightning II Joint Strike Fighter. The development of this is the most expensive weapon development program of the Pentagon ever. You will get goosebumps if you get to know the price spent for the making of this fighter jet. It costs around $400 billion. I know guys, this is insane. But this project was not a failure. This resulted in the making of the most powerful fighter jet which can do vertical takeoff and landing. If this aircraft is this much advanced, then we can think how the aircraft that can fly will be. This is the ultimate goal of the US Navy. Seripu's planning and experiments are going on to achieve this goal of building a flying aircraft carrier. The experiments started in 1917 with aircraft that were slung under the airships. These were called micro-fighters. These were used to defend the airships. During the 1970s, the US Air Force started experimenting with the idea of converting one of its largest aircraft into a flying aircraft carrier. These will be full of parasite fighters that can be deployed and recovered at any time in midair. The Boeing 747 will be able to carry up to 10 microfighters. This plane will be designed to carry the microfighters. The microfighters will also be designed small enough to be carried within the Boeing 747. However, there were many challenges regarding this project. Because of that, this proposal never made it to the next step. But they never dropped the plan to build a flying aircraft carrier, although that will be very costly. Now, let us get into more details about the Lockheed CL-1201. This is designed to be a flying aircraft carrier. This will be the size of the normal aircraft carrier. This weighs around 5,265 tons. This aircraft will be as tall as a 14-story building. The wingspan of this aircraft carrier is 1,120 feet, and the fuselage of this aircraft will be around 560 feet. This is twice the size of the Boeing 747 aircraft. This can only be powered by four huge turbofan engines powered by regular jet fuel to an altitude under 16,000 feet. But if the power is powered by a nuclear power reactor, then this aircraft carrier can run straight for 41 days without refueling. The aircraft can maintain a speed of Mach 0.8 for this period and cruise at an altitude of 30,000 feet. 
This will have a crew of 845 and will have 22 multi-role fighters. But this was almost impossible. The production cost was way more than the others. This may be one reason why this proposal never made it into the next step as well. Up next, we have the B-36 Peacemaker. This was another aircraft that was planned to be transformed into an aircraft carrier. This was also made to upgrade to carry the micro fighters. That would be the McDonnell F-85 Goblin. This aircraft carrier can keep up to four of the micro fighters. The length of the wings of this aircraft was 230 feet. This is the largest aircraft ever to take to the skies. When it is fully loaded with everything, including the weapons, the overall weight comes to 410,000 pounds. Do you know about the Lockheed C-130 Hercules? Now, the United States Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, is looking forward to using a modified Lockheed C-130 cargo aircraft as a flying aircraft carrier. They are planned to be modified in such a way that they will be able to deploy and support Dynetics X-61 Gremlins unmanned aerial vehicles as microfighters. After the use, these microfighters will be recovered by using the proprietary air recovery method involving a drogue-like receptacle and docking technique. Regular tests are also done for this project. The testing right now is done at the Dugway Proving Ground with International Air Response providing the contracted C-130A. The tests are getting better. In January 2022, DARPA successfully launched an X-61 Gremlin UAV from the Bay of the C-130. If this project becomes successful, then the U.S. Navy will succeed with flying colors. Their dreams will come true. This will enable the U.S. to deploy drones from the mothership while still outside of enemy air defense. This will allow the drones to go on and engage the targets before returning to the airspace around the mothership. This program will continue as they have planned and will eventually reach their success. The making of a flying aircraft carrier faces many problems. One among them is the cost. The building of the massive and powerful USS Gerald Ford cost around $13 billion. So imagine adding the flying capability to such a vessel. The price will skyrocket. Another problem that the naval force is facing is the lack of infrastructure and purpose. Since the past experiments to build an aircraft carrier were a failure, the making of a new flying aircraft carrier requires new ideas and techniques. These heavy aircraft carriers need a big and special landing place. Building that is not as simple as it seems. These heavy aircraft carriers cannot be landed in the normal landing strips. But there is one complicated question attached to this concept. Why would the naval force build a landing strip by spending billions of dollars while they have an aircraft carrier in the sea which can carry many fighters? Why they should have two of something that serves the same purpose? Another major complication that we cannot deny is the chance of explosions. This can be very rare, but we cannot deny this. If an explosion happens, that will be deadly. So no nation wants something like that to be flying over their heads. The flying aircraft carriers will be a game changer. The launching of this carrier will be a great success for the US Navy.